There's also a large amount of news surrounding, uh, you guessed it, Elon Musk. So in case anybody uh, is or is not aware, Elon was, you know, of course he's investing in Twitter and I was talking about buying Twitter and then Twitter did this poison pill thing and then uh, Elon said this love me tender tweet. So just to put it all into perspective, let's get a real clean view of what's going on here. So says, uh, let's see here. You see, I, I'm trying to read through some of this. We see the drama over Musk's $43 billion takeover bid for Twitter is heating up, not just because the company's board is resisting him, but because, the, because other players are starting to appear on the scene. And we have an article about that, about Apollo. Uh, will the billionaire's bid succeed or will he back down? And what important factors are still in flux? So Twitter's board has a poison pill, but will a white knight emerge? Twitter's board of directors is expected to formally accept or reject Musk's unsolicited purchase offer soon. On Friday, the board put into place a poison pill formerly known as the shareholder rights plan to fend off Musk, who currently owns about 9% of Twitter shares. The measure would make it more expensive for Musk or anyone else to increase their stake in the company to 15% or more. If that threshold were crossed, the board would, the board could inundate the market with discounted shares that Musk wouldn't be able to purchase, diluting his stake. It's a defensive move and gives the board more time to consider Musk's offer. The board could also try to find an alternative buyer, often referred to as a white knight, or even open up a formal public sale process. Twitter has hired Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan Chase as advisors, and analysts say the company and its bankers are likely already evaluating other potential suitors. But what does it mean to love me tender, love me true? It means that uh, some, of her, some observers took Elon's tweet as a hint that he may try to appeal directly to Twitter shareholders with what is known as a tender offer naming a price at which he'd buy Twitter shareholders' shares. But that is exactly the sort of hostile move that the poison pill is designed to discourage. If Musk's offer is attractive enough, however, shareholders could pressure the board to scrap the poison pill. And Musk has tweeted several times recently saying that the company's investors should get to make the final decision about a sale. While the board of directors has a duty to act in the best interest of Twitter's investors, Musk has argued that their economic interests are simply not aligned with shareholders, which was a reply to a tweet noting that the directors, other than former CEO Jack Dorsey, who is leaving the board in May, own very little Twitter stock. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if you guys have been watching some Musk tweet lately, but he is on it. <laughs> he is uh, entertaining to read. Um, but can Musk really pay for Twitter? So there are drawbacks for Musk. Making an offer directly to shareholders would require him to explain how he plans to finance his purchase, which the maverick billionaire has yet to do. Most analysts assume Musk would have to take out a loan against his Tesla stock, uh, which accounts for the bulk of his wealth, but some are skeptical he would be able to convince a bank to cooperate, financing a deal worth a, a deal of $40 billion tied to a stock with a history of volatility carries a lot of risk. Twitter shares rose 7.5% on Monday, but are still trading below Musk's offer of 50-420 a share, suggesting investors remain skeptical about his chances of success. So here we see, will other buyers emerge from the wings or give Musk the money he needs? Companies from Disney, to Salesforce, have considered buying Twitter over the years, though none of those deals materialize. But now, Musk's offer has put Twitter in play once again. This is a moment in time which may not be replicable in the future. One thing has unquestionably done is to start conversations about the future of the company, whether in fact Twitter will remain a publicly traded company or will be acquired, says Scott Kessler from Third Bridge. The private equity firm Toma Bravo, which owns software companies including antivirus provider uh, McAfee, McAfee uh, is working on a potential bid for Twitter. 
Musk himself could also team up with other investors to bolster his bid. One possibility that observers are buzzing about, the private equity firm Silver Lake, which worked with Musk on his failed attempt to take Tesla private in 2018. Uh, says Silver Lake's co-CEO, uh, Egon Durbin, joined Twitter's board in 2020 as part of an agreement with another activist investor, Elliott Management, which has criticized Twitter's sluggish growth. On Monday, the Wall Street Journal reported the buyout firm Apollo Global, which owns Yahoo, is weighing getting involved in the Twitter drama by providing financing to Musk or another potential buyer. So that's one of the pieces that we were talking about, about Apollo. And uh, we do have a, um, a piece there. And yeah, awesome. Thank you, TF Hatter. Uh, we'll call it here. Max Payne on AMC is 1850. I see Santa. Hi, honey. <laughs> Rock and Mama Carver. Good morning. You the best, Santa. Hey, honey. Yo, Caesar C. Good morning, man. How you doing today, bud? Diane B. Good morning. Good morning. Checking out chat real fast. Thank you guys for being here. Hello, hello. All right. So, uh, this one here, Musk could always call it quits. It says, uh. Because he did say that that 5420 was his best and final offer, which struck many Wall Street analysts as bizarre, since mergers and acquisitions typically follow a lengthy negotiation process. If true to his word, Musk could withdraw his offer and might even sell all of the shares of Twitter. So that's a lot of the debate that we've been having. It's like, really, what is the purpose of all of this that uh, Elon's been doing? So there is always this possibility. Keep our minds open. This is just some info, you know? And I think we are now going to talk about our Apollo one would be our best bet here. So Apollo management is willing to finance a Twitter buyout. So this is our newest piece adding on to the article we were just reading there is that private equity firm Apollo Global Management would consider providing financing for a Twitter buyout in the form of preferred equity. But Apollo isn't interested in joining a private equity consortium to acquire the social media company. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and the world's wealthiest person, offered to buy Twitter for $43 billion last week. And uh, that's just to know, just something to keep our eyes on. We won't read through the whole thing on there, but that's Apollo Global Management, and they own Yahoo, which is uh, interesting to know there, too. Oh. All right, switching gears real quick. Quick into uh, another piece we need to know. Make sure I have that. Oh, we see that Mercedes Benz unveils its new electric EQ 